Take a journey of discovery into the southwest edge with an epic 12-day adventure from Perth to Esperance. This exciting road trip will showcase the best of Western Australia's southwest region, from towering forests to marine life rich coasts and world-class wine regions. Departing Perth, take a short ferry ride from Fremantle to Rottnest Island and arrive at the sweeping white sands of Thompson Bay. Visit Thompson Bay Settlement where you can grab coffee or lunch, then explore the rest of the car-free island at your own pace. Meet the world's cutest marsupials, the quokkas, and enjoy Rottnest's beautiful marine life. End the day on a Rottnest seafood tour before taking the ferry back to Fremantle. Enjoy breakfast in Fremantle before browsing the local boutiques for unique and vintage finds. Visit the Fremantle Roundhouse, the oldest public building in WA, and originally built as a prison for settlers in the Swan River Colony. If you like seafood, head for lunch at the Fremantle Fishing Boat Harbour before driving towards Bunbury, which is two hours south. You'll pass through the rolling hills of the Ferguson Valley. Make sure to stop at Wellington Forest National Park where you can go for a hike or a bike ride to the spectacular Black Diamond Lake. Stop at Bunbury Wildlife Park to meet a range of Australian marsupials, birds and reptiles. Once you arrive at Bunbury, take in the vibrant street art, shop the boutiques and purchase fresh local produce before spending the evening at Bunbury Seaview Apartments or Discovery Parks Bunbury. Start your morning at the Dolphin Discovery Centre, where you can interact with the friendly wild dolphins. Stretch your legs in Bustleton and take some time to relax on the white sandy beach before a 40 minute drive to Yallingup. When you reach Yallingup, you can spend the afternoon exploring its sensational coastal spots like the Canal Rocks and head to Indyup Natural Spa Retreat for in-villa dining, spa treatments and relaxation. Today is all about exploring the magnificent Margaret River wine region. Just a 35 minute drive from Yallingup, Margaret River is a heaven for wine lovers with 150 wineries that produce more than 20% of Australia's premium wine. After breakfast, your tour guide will pick you up for a day tour, visiting world-class vineyards such as Lewin Estate, Voyager Estate and Vass Felix. You'll then visit a range of gourmet producers along the way where you can pick up some cheese, bread, biscuits and olives for a gourmet picnic. Spend the next two nights at the Smith's Beach Resort for the ultimate beachside experience. Have a drink at their brilliant wine bar, then dine in for dinner at the on-site restaurant with superb ocean views. Today we'll explore the other highlights of the Margaret River region. Take a short drive up north to explore the ancient crystal formations of Nilgi Cave. You will learn about the world's oldest living culture and get to experience a live didgeridoo performance. Drive 43 kilometres west of Margaret River to watch the professional surfers at Surfers Point. Or take a short drive south to the casual beachside dining place White Elephant Cafe. Other activities that you can do include taking a stand-up paddleboard lesson, rock climbing, abseiling or kayaking along the Margaret River. From Margaret River take a 40 minute drive south towards Augusta and jump on a two hour whale watching tour to spot some humpback whales. Go for a scenic drive into the forest around Pemberton and hit the mountain bike trails or hike a section of the Bibbleman Track and admire the Beetle Up Falls. Test your fear of heights at the 58 metre tall Gloucester Tree and climb the makeshift ladder to the top.
Drive along the eye-catching coastal scenery towards William Bay National Park, where you will find the giant granite boulders of Elephant Rocks and the turquoise clear waters of Greens Pool. Stop by for lunch at a local destination icon, Denmark Good Food Factory. It is the perfect place to enjoy a cider in the garden, meet new people and taste one of the best burgers in the West. Check into the peaceful Ayana Retreat, just a 45 minute drive from Denmark's centre. The villas are surrounded by native flora and it's close to the Wilson Inlet. Next stop, Albany, where you will find farmers markets, fresh oysters and some of the most pristine beaches. Visit the striking coast at the Gap, a natural bridge. The granite cliff has a natural gap with a see-through skywalk platform that extends out 10 metres over the cliff's edge and the pounding waves below. Other activities in Albany include exploring the Albany Heritage Park, whiskey tasting at the Lime Burners Distillery, and a visit to the nearby Australian Wildlife Park, where you'll see kangaroos, bandicoots, and wombats. End the night with Vietnamese French-inspired cuisine at Liberté at the London, and stay at the Hilton Garden in Albany. On the way to Bremer Bay, head to the Parongarup National Park, Located here is the Granite Skywalk, a suspended walkway that rises 670 metres above sea level. If you are a wildflower enthusiast, birdwatcher or hiker, you can continue onwards to Stirling Range National Park, where you can climb one of Western Australia's highest peaks, Bluff Knoll. Just a one and a half hour drive away, you'll reach the small seaside town of Bremer Bay, Spend the night at the Bremer Bay Resort, where the Mount Barron restaurant offers panoramic views across the bay. Departing Bremer Bay, the route will take you through the beautiful Fitzgerald River National Park, known for its unique wildflowers and fauna. Make your way to Ravensthorpe and join a wildflower festival tour to discover the wildflower hotspots in the area. Next, take a two and a half hour drive to the beautiful town of Esperance. Check in at Esperance Chalet Village, where you will stay for the next two nights. The Chalet Village is a charming and peaceful retreat, just a five minute stroll from the crystal clear waters of Esperance Bay. Once you've settled in, you can borrow one of the complimentary village bikes and head into town to grab a coffee and some supplies. Esperance has some of the world's most beautiful beaches, including Hellfire Bay, Blue Haven and Twilight Beach, just to name a few. Spend the afternoon exploring them. Follow the coast to the Cape Le Grand National Park. Here you can go for a hike to Frenchman's Peak, where you will find carpets of wildflowers in spring, granite outcrops and freshwater pools. Make sure to visit Lucky Bay, Australia's widest beach with its translucent water and whitewashed sand and keep a lookout for the inquisitive kangaroos that roam the shores. Take a scenic tour with Heli Spirit Tours and witness the striking Pink Lake Helia on Middle Island against the Blue Ocean. Heli Spirit will take you on a helicopter from the Esperance foreshore, showcasing the pristine coastline and the famed Pink Lake. It's worth noting that Lake Helia is the only pink lake in this region of Western Australia. There used to be a pink lake close to Esperance that could be accessed by car, but it is no longer a vivid pink colour. Head back to your chalet at 6pm to freshen up before enjoying some European influenced cuisine at the Loose Goose Bar and Restaurant. Today is the last day of your trip and it's all about returning to Perth via Hyden or Kalgoorlie. It takes approximately eight hours to get to Perth from Esperance. If you decide to travel through Hyden, make sure you visit the impressive Wave Rock. You can spend the night at Wave Rock Hotel and continue your trip back to Perth the next day. Wave Rock was formed millions of years ago, measuring around 15 metres in height and more than 100 metres in width. This makes it the perfect end to your Southwest Edge adventure. Follow First Class Travel for more travel inspiration.